Hello friends, I'm getting ready to leave in a couple of minutes to go get my second Zolidex hormone injection. And I'm also supposed to start my Arimidex. This says anastrozole is the technical term. I start that tomorrow. Um, I'm just like, it's all setting in a little bit, you know, where it's like, okay, I just hope I don't have crazy side effects because you can get bone thinning. Um, I already told you the Zolidex injection can give you vaginal dryness because women love that so far so good on that for me but it's only been one injection um hot flashes for sure i had one of those last month so and this can also cause hot flashes as well so i was just filling up my pill pack and i'm like all right let's add another pill to it all my pills right now are just like zyrtec for allergy and then um vitamin b complex and vitamin d3 so the d3 will help with the bones so and then it's going to be summer soon and i'll get some sunshine calcium consumption helps too there's calcium and broccoli so i eat a lot of broccoli just because of the phytonutrients that it has to fight cancer and calcium is in that also milk and cheese and things like that obviously but i try not to eat a lot of dairy because it does um back you up a little not not like poop wise i mean like it just makes me feel like I'm gaining weight or something. I don't know. Like I don't lose weight as steadily and I don't feel as like empty. I don't know what the word is. I'm trying to find. I feel like stuffed up when I have too much milk or too much yogurt or too much cheese. So I, I have it like every other day, put it that way. Like I, I love cheese and I love dairy and stuff. I just, I don't really drink milk that often. Um, I do put creamer in my milk, in my milk. I put creamer in my milk. Do you do that too? <laughs> I put creamer in my coffee every day, half and half, and I, that's about it. I'll just eat like a string cheese, but I don't really consume a ton of dairy and that's why. But calcium does come from dairy. It comes from a lot of things that you'd be surprised about. So maybe I'll do a video. I am planning on doing a video on like nutrition and things to consume uh, before, during, and after cancer treatment and to help your body not have a recurrence later in life um so maybe i'll add like how to get your calcium absorption going with natural foods to that so we'll see it's something i'm putting in my little video bank i got going on of all these ideas of videos i want to do for you guys so all right i'm gonna get going to my appointment so i'll see you in the next clip good morning friends it is april 9th tuesday morning and i'm getting ready to go get my second Zolodex hormonal injection right into my gut. Uh, last time, you have to alternate sides every time you get an injection, I guess, because of your ovaries. Just a guess. Um, but last time we did my right side, so this time we're going to do my left. And then after that appointment, I have to go to the plastic surgeon to drain my, 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 my seromas. So, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, if I have any left, hopefully I don't have any more, but it's possible there might be some saroma still in there. All right, I'm gonna get on the road and I will see you in the next clip.
I just got injected for the second time. It wasn't that bad, I have to admit. The pain level is like a zero. It's just like a quick pinch, boom, done. But I will tell you, that needle is extremely intimidating. So if you have a fear of needles, just take a deep breath and don't look. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. That is intimidating. But I had an injection in my right side of my abdomen last time, and this time they did the left. So I'll show you real quick, ready? Band-Aid, boop. But yes, so that wasn't too bad. I go again on May 7th for my third injection, and now I am off to my plastic surgeon's office to follow up from last week when I had to drain fluid from both sides. And yeah, we're just gonna check for my, 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 my aromas. All right, so I'm gonna get on the road and I will see you in the next clip. surgeon to come in to check for seromas so I'm doing a room tour because you know me like I mean hello if you don't know you know now you know I always do this room tour room tour and then I will be sitting right there all right so I'll let you know how it goes and I will see you in the next clip I just have to show you just to get a feel for how huge this gown is you ready The swimming in it. Look at it. Like my body's back here. This is ridiculous. All right, I'll see you in the next clip. We're all done. So now I go back to the car. All right, well, that appointment went really well. I ended up having 40 cc's drained out of the right side and then 10 out of the left, which is crazy because last week the left side had 70 cc's. So it's good that it's like not full of fluid anymore. My body's not, there's not as much inflammation, I guess, and my body's not producing as much fluid, which is a good thing. Uh, the right side obviously had more trauma, so that's gonna take a little more time for that to like simmer down but i do have an appointment to come back here next thursday to check for any more seromas and empty them or drain them if there are any because before radiation you want to try to get as much fluid out as possible because if there's fluid in there and then you radiate sometimes the body can form like a capsule around the fluid because you're radiating the tissue and it shrinks all the tissue it shrinks the fat it's basically like killing all the cells there to kill cancer cells that might be left over but it also like kills your tissue cells and your fat cells and all that and it damages your skin and all those fun things but yeah so it's best to get as much fluid out before radiation as possible just so you don't have those complications but um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I don't have any more appointments this week. I do have a physical therapy consultation next week, so I'll take you with me for that. That's just to get full range of motion of my arm and like basically to get ready for radiation, which I'm kind of already there because I can get my arm. Look at my hairy armpits. I'm growing hair back. <laughs> but apparently that's gonna fall out again too from radiation. But yeah, the whole point of physical therapy is to get your arm up because you have to like keep it up on this bar for um like when you're laying down you hold on to this bar behind you and it you radiate the area so i don't know how much physical therapy i'm gonna need maybe like one or two sessions and then just do stretches and stuff at home like i've been um but yeah that's pretty much it uh the doctor appointments are gonna kind of chill out for like the next week or two 
thank God, because uh, I've had a million. Um, I have a much deserved break. But when radiation starts, I will be taking you with me every single day for 30 days. Not consecutive because weekends are no radiation. So it will be six straight weeks. And I'm trying to figure out if I want to do like a weekly video. I might do weekly videos so I can stay in touch. I don't want to like disappear for six weeks. That's silly. So I'll probably do like weekly updates, like just to let you know how I'm feeling, how I'm doing with radiation. All right, I will see you in the next clip. Hi friends, it is still Tuesday and I just had a thought. I'm like, you know what, let me just record this while I'm thinking about it. I wanted to give you a hair update. A couple of you have asked in the comments in previous videos, what's going on with my hair? So I'm gonna take my leg off and I'm gonna show you. And uh, yeah, there's a lot going on with my hair. <laughs> it's growing back like with a vengeance. It looks pretty crazy. Look at it. Oh my Lord, climbing over this earring. Holy smokes. The cool thing is pretty soon I'll be able to like put headbands in or clip it do some style with it. I had thoughts about maybe getting it cut like a like a style once it gets to a certain length, but I don't really want to mess with it. I want it to just grow. So <clears throat> that's the latest and greatest with my hair. I also forgot to mention in my last clip, we had an eclipse. I'm sure you were all aware of it. The whole country was aware of it. We had a full-on solar eclipse yesterday and I got a really cool video of it of course like the clouds started rolling in like the minute that I was recording I'm like it was a beautiful blue sky all day and then once the eclipse was supposed to happen that's when the clouds decided to show up and like ruin the show but it ended up looking really cool I didn't look at it I just was recording through my camera on my phone and looking at it that way so I didn't mess my vision up <laughs> I don't get like super hype about stuff like that as much as I love like the moon and the sun and all of that awesome stuff um I just thought it was cool because it kind of looks like a reverse crescent moon and I'm a huge fan of crescent moons so yeah also my daughter is at school today so I am going to be extremely productive I am cleaning I'm organizing I'm purging toys that she doesn't play with anymore and she won't see it and be like oh I love that but I'm like you don't love it because <laughs> it's been in a pile for like six months so just clearing out the clutter doing a little spring cleaning and I also have my notebook out because I'm going to start jotting down YouTube video ideas to put out each week and connect with you better. But yes, that is pretty much it for this video. So I hope this video helped you in some way. I will be in touch in the next couple days or a week with another video. So I hope you're having a lovely week. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because it not only helps to spread awareness about breast cancer, it also will notify you when I put a new video up or if I premiere or go live. All right, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I better see you in the next one. Bye.